this tiny coffee press not the best thing you've ever seen in your life good morning and welcome back or welcome to my channel for those of you that don't know my name is Lottie and I'm a first year medical student at the University of Leeds so today is my first vlog style video I'm talking very quietly because I don't want to wake up any of my flatmates I wanted to film today because I have quite an exciting day and I just wanted to get you all in the mood to go to medical school this is a good way to break up the interview process videos because obviously you need your motivation and you need to want to come here and it is good fun so it's currently 6 40 in the morning i'm up quite early because i need to do a little bit of work on my statistics essay and then i've got a pilates class For some reason the referencing tool that we're meant to use has just decided to not work on my laptop today so I'm trying to manually reference which is never fun. I had to do that for my EPQ and it was not fun and I really liked having a special app that did it for me but apparently not the day. Just making a smoothie with this really miserable looking banana, but I don't want to waste it. But maybe I do. Maybe I do need to waste this banana. Yeah, it's not looking too good. I just got back from my Pilates class and now we're in the lift. I'm on the 25th floor, so it's a bit of a journey up there. And now I need to rush because it's nearly 10 and I have group work at 11 so I need to get ready and then run off back to that. I'm now back from my group work and I just bought like a microwave curry to go with some leftover rice I had. I don't trust myself to not spill it everywhere so I'm trying to make this tea towel into like a bib but it's not really working. So I now have an hour before I need to get a train into Wakefield which is where we're doing the patient meeting. So we're basically just going to speak to the patient about communication, their experience with communication in preparation for our presentation on communication so that's really exciting i'm very annoyed about this curry because i followed all the cooking instructions and it's just completely ruined it the chicken's gone all hard and kind of burnt as well so don't follow cooking instructions follow your instinct before heading off i'm going to try and get a little bit of my statistics work done and fingers crossed i will actually finish it this time and then well, I still have more statistics to be fair, but at least it's like one less thing I need to do. I've only just got back, so it's about half six now, I think. Um, and I just got some chips because I had an option of trying to make chips out of my slightly moldy potato or just buying chips, so I call my mum and because you know, call your mum for the smallest dilemmas and she said buy chips so I listened to her and I bought chips. As you can see I'm now back in my room so it's now nine o'clock, I had my dinner and then me and two of my flatmates went down to Weatherspoons because very conveniently there is one right underneath my accommodation so we have a little bit of a tradition now where somebody's like oh let's go get dessert or let's go get a hot chocolate so we did that and now we're all back in our rooms and yeah I, I thought I would just chat a little bit about what I actually did this afternoon because obviously I couldn't film it because it was with a patient so it would be confidential but essentially it leads us this thing called the patient carer community where you have a lot of involvement with patients and with carers and you get to talk to them about their experiences so our I guess project um, at the moment is focusing on communication so I have 
three people in my group and we're basically doing a presentation on communication skills. So we got to go and meet with a patient. So we had to take a train to get there. We met with the patient and then we spoke with them for an hour and a half. So he was a part of the patient carer community, but he was actually both. So he'd been a patient when he was younger, but now he's mostly a carer. So we got to hear about his experiences and ask questions about his experience with communication, if he felt like his experiences had made him a better communicator, all of that stuff. So it was really, really amazing. Such a good experience. Um, and yeah, I think it's a great thing from the university. So if you do want to apply to Leeds, that's definitely a high point of this course. I would definitely recommend. And then we're going to make a couple of notes on it. I think I'm going to meet with my group next week and we're going to put together our presentation. But yeah, it was really good. Um, I'm quite tired now though, because obviously getting the train there and back was a bit stressful and making sure we found our way and wasn't late or anything. So I think now I'm just gonna chill for a little bit. Quick look through the things that we have for tomorrow and then I'm gonna go off to bed. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. I've really enjoyed filming it actually. I'm a bit intrigued though to look back on the footage because I don't really know if I've done it right and got all the things that I need to get. Um, but obviously there is elements that I can't film because of obvious reasons with confidentiality and I've not wanted to film my flatmates yet. Not all of them even know about this channel so I didn't want to <laughs> put them in it but maybe, maybe one day. But yeah, thank you so so much for watching and have a lovely day.